swinging is because I can mouse talk to people helping my 200 children's voices. We spoke to 200 children about the ways they like to learn. And these videos represent a small snapshot of the voices of these 200 children telling us about that. We've got a lot more data, but these represent some of the key ideas and the key things that children told us about their learning and their learning preferences. Probably the most significant for us was this idea that children are far more competent and capable than we uh, understand them to be. And I think we underestimate children in terms of their interests and their capabilities and what they bring to the classroom. Children were very clear that they like to learn when they're active, when they're engaged and when they're motivated to learn. In particular they like ways of learning that are um, creative and challenging and exciting and fun. They were very good at recognising actually what's an appropriate approach for children of their age. Um, and they also recognised that when they were engaged in those approaches that it was good to collaborate with others, especially their peers. The children really like to learn uh, areas of the curriculum which quite interestingly are not always the areas of the curriculum that we give them much time for. So they talked a lot about science they expressed a real desire to engage in the arts. They really liked learning about technologies like beatbots and using iPads and so on. They wanted to learn how to use those and they really loved to engage in health and physical education and sport. When they experience success, this is a big motivator. When they experience less success, they're not so inclined to like those areas of learning. Many children had quite an extensive vocabulary to talk about their own learning and they, they told us that they enjoyed learning that was challenging and um, they enjoyed learning that where they got feedback from the teachers and from peers. They particularly enjoyed learning that was collaborative and supported by others. What surprised us was that they didn't really identify teachers as the main people that contribute to their learning. Instead they identified parents, um, other family members, peers and siblings as the people they most readily learn from. We also noticed that they identified grandparents and seemed to have a high regard for the knowledge and skills that grandparents were passing on to them. When they did talk about teachers, they also talked about the way they, uh, the qualities of a teacher that they were looking for and uh, these were quite significant and most of all they wanted their teachers to have a playfulness, to, to engage with them in fun ways and uh, they, didn't like to, they didn't like to be taught things that they already knew how to do. They expressed a real concern that if they already knew something, why are we spending time learning it again? So they wanted their teachers to be aware of who they were as learners and what they were already capable of. Children identified largely places outside the classroom that they liked to learn. The playground was identified as an important place for them to learn. They talked about going on excursions to the Science Museum and to um, other outside school locations. Well, school-age children saw school as being governed by rules and regulations and that learning took place in very particular ways. They seemed quite nostalgic about the opportunities for learning from kindergarten and many wanted to transfer that into the school context. Children are looking for choice. They're also looking for an opportunity to have their ideas about learning valued. Most of the children seem surprised that we're even asking them about how they like to learn. And so why don't we go to them more often um, to find out what they want.